Okay fam, it's Persephone of Persephone School for Witchcraft and Stitchery. And I'm here today with Pedro, and we are cleaning out my, I'm not even cleaning, I'm going through the cold storage of my crochet, the deeply stored crochet items just to see, I'm looking for something specific. I think I found it, but as I am going through everything, I'm coming across some stuff that I'm like, I made that? So let's look at it. So what I am looking for are the doilies that I started like three to four years ago. And I don't know if you've noticed what's trending right now, guys, but crochet parasols are the latest thing. It's so cool. So I knew that years ago and I started working on these and I bought the umbrellas. I have all the tools. What you do is you attach the doily to the umbrella and you make your own crochet parasol. It's the most coolest thing and the umbrella wire hangers when you take its wrap off are very finicky and intimidating and so I made a couple of these but I never I have everything I need to just attach it and make it and I think that I'm gonna do it so here's this one it's a rainbow pineapple motif and then I have this black light this UV reactive skull doily this yarn will glow in black light so that will light up neon a parasol with skulls lighting up neon that'll be so cool and then I have this third one that I started but it's not um, completed so I have two ready to really be attached and it's this cool shell motif in another rainbow gradient. I think that this one will obviously be different than this one. See how lacy and open this one is and then once you get it on the wire hanger it's going to stretch out even more versus this seems to be more cover so I'll be curious to see how they look once they are actually attached to the umbrella which by the way I picked up the umbrellas for like six bucks from my local thrift store I love to thrift make sure that you're following my YouTube channel like and subscribe so that way you can see when I go thrifting I like to look at a lot of different things I came across this almost finished granny circle crochet jacket and it looks like it just needs like one more couple more rows and then you can wear it kind of like this is what I'm the general concept but it still needs the shoulders and then I'm psyched to see that I have this octopus body that is almost ready to be completed so octopus is actually my spirit animal and if you follow my channel Persephone School for Witchcraft and Stitchery I talk about spirit animals so the fact that I have this means that I can make this and what's in here you ask the answer is that I had hand sewn a zipper into the crochet octopus and my husband and I and our roommates and our family we play D&D &D, so we're very into bam dice <laughs> so you can keep your dice in here Ta -da. and then it has a zipper to close it back up so I made this one for my husband and now I have one that's ready to go here also and so now we're caught up and I will be unearthing these things as we go so checking out here I'm guessing that this is a purse it has a pocket on the front I have a UV black light reactive bong koozie for your glass water pipes here's the strap for the purse I've got another bong koozie, another bong koozie. Oh, a clutch to go with the purse. That's cool. It's even got the zipper ready in there. Man, fam, I don't know if any of you who are crafters are ever like just a thousand WIPs, whips, 
works in progress you know how many projects have you started and then you were like ooh something else that's interesting and you forgot about it this is a cover-up that I started to crochet while I was on an airplane on my way to Hawaii that was a great trip and this is a gorgeous cover-up that would have matched my swimsuit and it probably just needs straps and to be finished maybe I should finish that Oh yes, that's right. It had, it had, um, triangles. Oh, Megan, that's right. Do you ever just want to kick yourself in the butt? And then, and then it wrapped around. I should finish this. Okay, what else do we have? All right, has anyone ever done planned color pooling? So, planned color pooling is when the yarn colors stripe in a, an appropriate increment and by controlling where the stitches fall you're able to force the colors to create this argyle pattern and there's some cool things that you could do with this like a table runner you could do a scarf I was thinking about putting this as a bottom to like a poncho so oh my gosh I made this to be a yoga mat blanket all the while knowing that this acrylic yarn would not be appropriate because it would not do well with the sweat I think you know it wouldn't like absorb sweat which one would imagine that you would be sweating when you're doing yoga but look how gorgeous the colors are and the yarn is actually a metallic kind of silky yarn that I found in Oregon when I was living there and um, and so this just sits in here what am I doing with this you know what else is in here <laughs> oh, I will give a shout out to the company that makes these scales scale mail but like lo look how cool this is I think that this was gonna be a purse or something crazy and it was just crazy time-consuming like individually attaching all of these and so now I just have this like what should I do with this it's not that big here's another example of that planned color pooling so again we can see this argyle design and both of those yarns were a red heart yarn and Joann's now advertises their color pooling yarns so you should just be able to find them I have if anyone is a Star Wars fan these are Twi'lek Leku brain tails to be attached to a hat so that you can look like a Twi'lek from Star Wars. I have that in purple and then here's the green Twi'lek. Oh wow look it already. See all I have to do to finish this is just sew, hand sew these down and then attach the either button or velcro and this will be done. Like why has it been five, six, years that's a long time to avoid finishing something aha another octopus I think that the other ingredients are in here to finish this I've got an octopus ready to be finished my husband will be so happy that I found this this is the ingredients that I need to make an African flower spider basically it's a spider made up of a bunch of different hexagons. I'll be able to make the spider in time for Halloween. Look, it's stuffed in here. All I have to do is sew it together. That's, a, that's all that's left. Does anybody have this kind of procrastination problem? Like, I acknowledge that there's a problem, but I live with it and move on. Let's keep going. Oh my God, and finally, we find the skins of bats. So if you've been following me at all, and if you're not, then please hit like and subscribe. I took on what I called my 100 crochet bats project. I hit uh, mid 30s and got distracted by something else. So the goal was to make 100 bats. I was on a Squishmallow collection addiction. So I was inspired by the Squishmallows, the softness of it. And so I made so far, you know, 30 and a half 
different themed bats. And so this one right here was going to be a steampunk bat. He's got his goggles, got some gold going on here. I had an angel and a devil, that's right. Well, I just flung something out, I'll grab it. <laughs> Sit down, I'll grab it, it's okay. I started a hat, I think. Is anybody a Supernatural fan? Maybe they recognize this symbol. This was supposed to be a hat, but then the colorway on the inside carrying the gold made it very tight. So I don't think this would be good for a hat anymore. What do you think I should finish and turn this into? I have another bat in here. Looks like it was gonna be like a rainbow kind of color with the black body. I have this pink one with gray. I think it was going to be like a holographic bat and I was going to attach, I was going to adhere holographic glitter, chunky, star-shaped, galactic, and then, gosh, what's this? I don't even want to dive into that. And then I was going to make my own earmuffs, but I was having a hard time because the headband was like sliding down into it. Like, do you glue it or, you know, so, right, make your own earmuffs how cute would that be in the winter so anyways thanks spam thanks for watching me go through the cold storage of my crochet i am getting ready for july 16th 2022 for noco pride in fort collins i will be there persephone school for witchcraft and stitchery will be there pedro will be there some other mature fun content will be there. Adults should come check me out. People who appreciate body parts. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. I appreciate you. Okay, goodbye.